You can hear me beating. I'm not doing it. Oh, breathing. Okay. I don't want to get banned from Twitch for doing that. I was just kind of waiting for you to get here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be playing Overwatch, by the way. Just kind of on the menu so that way we could have something in the background. Oh, no, I'm not beating, I swear. <laughs> it's freaking hot in here, gosh. Turn that off. So fight me. Fight me on why you think Swift is going to be superior. <laughs> the Nintendo Master Race. I'll get something special going for you. I'll get, I'll get the tracer butt shot for you. There, how about that? Well, just because Nintendo doesn't really isn't really much of an argument. Well, uh like I I agree. Like I think the um the way they're setting this up <laughs> I know you love that Brit's booty, but the way they're setting it up is really cool. I I think I think the uh, having gaming at home and on the go with like an actually high-powered console is gonna be really neat. Let's just hope it doesn't fail. Cause uh, Vita tried that before and it didn't go so well. Oh, by the way, do you like the skin for Tracer? <laughs> Maybe this is a better view on the booty for you. Okay, we're supposed to be having an intelligent discussion about Nintendo. <laughs> okay, it's time for it's time for the best booty. Here. Now you get to look at that booty. It's not, well, it's just the lag. It's like that normally. There's a bit of a delay between what you actually get to see and what I'm actually saying. Why? Because. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> Okay, let's just go back to the main menu. <sighs> Are you going to be buying Swift? It comes out in March, so... Well, supposedly...
Whoa, those are some fighting words, dude. <laughs> I'm going to be getting it too. But I mean, it's not going to replace my PlayStation, bro. Yeah, I'm getting it. I don't think it will replace the uh, PlayStation. I think it will be really cool, and it'll be a really good entertainment device, and something that I can take on the go with me, which will be really nice. And it advertised Skyrim, and I hope that that's actually something that gets fulfilled is Skyrim, because I really love that game. I'd love to take that game with me. That'd be sick. I mean, Sony's is Japanese technology. By the way, how does all this sound since I am in kind of a new area for this? Just while you're here. Yeah, say cross save on different consoles, that's probably something that's never gonna be happening. It'd be more interesting if we just get cross play, like it was going to be to where, um, on the game Rocket League, that you could play with players on Xbox and PlayStation, but that never came through. Not yet, anyways. It might still be in the works, though. Let's just hope that the third-party support for Swift is good and doesn't just die out after its second year. Like, what kind of Big Bang? Is this just me setting the drink down? No, I don't think Overwatch has crossplay. I think it's you can only play with other people on that system. I don't think there's any games right now that have crossplay between other consoles. It'd be nice, but I don't see it happening right now, especially just because of rivalry and stuff. Okay. Because Wii U, they pushed third party at launch a lot, and it failed miserably. <laughs> like, there's barely any third party support for it at all, if any. Uh, I don't know if we can replace Skyrim, at least for me. Uh, I've never played a Zelda game. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> and I I'm ashamed about it. It's just I really never did Nintendo stuff. Yeah, Wii U was sad. <laughs> I bought one and I don't even use it. <laughs> it's my mom uses it for Netflix. But I don't think uh, Breath of the Wild is going to replace Skyrim. It's going to be awesome, I'm sure of that. And it might be one of the games I get for it at launch, if it's a launch title, which I'm hoping it will be.
I'm actually going to check the update file on how oh, this goes online real quick. 18 gigabytes? Come on, you kidding me? Gosh, dang. I hope it's a launch title. It, w it was promised to be a Wii U title. It was supposed to come out, like, two years ago. It was supposed to come out in... Uh, uh, maybe... I don't know when it was supposed to come out when they said, but it was. they said it was supposed to come out before the new Star Fox game. And that didn't happen. And that Star Fox game was garbage. I'm gonna have no, uh, I know, but Nintendo promised it to come out before Star Fox, and they didn't even say anything about it, and they, it was, uh, it wasn't even finished when they really showed it off the first time. Star Fox 64 and the first one were really popular. Those are known to be very popular games. Yeah, it was, uh, wasn't Star Fox mostly just like kind of like a tech demo type of game where it just kind of showed off the hardware? Especially for the SNES one, it kind of showed off its, uh, special 3D something or other, I don't know, I don't know a lot about that system. One thing I hope, since the uh, Swift games are going to be cartridge-based, hopefully I won't have to install them. And Elder Scrolls Online is a 75 minimum gigabyte install. That takes up a decent amount of my hard drive on my PS4, so I'm hoping that Swift, with their games, you don't have to install them. That would actually make me play, the, the chance of me playing more on that console. That's what I thought. Except the Star Fox Zero, I think is what it's called, didn't do that at all. I think, I don't think it's lag. It's like, are you getting lag on the actual stream or are you just getting lag from when the text appears on your screen? I'm also having you here to kind of test this out because I really don't know how to do it yet. Let me check on my phone real quick. What? 
Ну... Well, that's not good. Hold on. Let me check something. I kind of moved all this stuff out to this area so I could stream more. No. Final install Twitch. Like I said on Twitter, PS4 is coming out with something called the PS4 Pro this holiday, I think. Microsoft's coming out with what is called right now the Scorpio, which is supposed to come out next holiday. And that's going to be way powerful, according to specs that have already been talked about. And I don't think Swift will be able to keep up with those two. But I might have an edge out on them just for its m mobility. Possibly, when you, where were you making a game at? What is it called? What's the premise? Well, actually, PlayStation has been doing some really stupid moves here lately. Uh, like, uh, just recently, like, they they released the PlayStation 4 Slim, which is a slim model. Like, it's, it's the same exact thing as the original model. And Xbox released the Xbox One S, which has 4K streaming, has a 4K Blu-ray player, and... Uh, I think it... I don't, I don't know if it can play 4K uh, games, uh... But it, I don't, I'm not sure. But um, PS4 Slim has none of those things, and PS4 Pro is not going to have 4K Blu ray player. What engine is it in? So is, it, is it in Maker? Or RPG Maker? Possibly? Unity. Oh, <sighs> uh, Blender. I thought that was mostly used for animations. I don't know you can make games in Blender. A lot of people are planning on buying the PS4 Pro in the uh, Scorpio. It's 
there a way I can watch my own stream on here? That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, you prefer the interface to Blender? I'm gonna check this real quick. I don't really know if it's 100% worth it because these aren't like uh, X Xbox 2 or PS5. These are just going to be like Xbox 1.5 and PS 4.5 is all it is. By the way, I started the the stream on my phone and I'm not noticing any lag. Did the lag go away for you? I'm just, I'm thinking it might be on your end. I can't think of what else it'd be called. Yeah, I'm not getting the lag at all. I think it might be on your end. Oh, okay. Quality really got better on streaming, I think, with the newest software update for PS4. It's not so gross looking now. Xbox negative one. <laughs> yeah, I think the Xbox One is a good console. It, there's another thing that. Xbox is doing better than PlayStation right now is with Fallout 4 and the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Remastered or whatever, they're getting mods, like actual mods on Xbox One. PS4 is getting pretty much the retarded cousin of the mods. I want to ask you, what did you think about those two little detachable controller things for the, swi the Switch? I almost called it the Swift again. I don't know why. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them. Yeah, I know. I, I I've been downloading mods on Fallout 4 and it's the best thing ever. <laughs> I mean, that's what's got me back into the game was the mods. And also, well, technically Sony's coming out with a new console before they do, even though it's just going to be like a 4.5 or 1.5 console. That's going to just have higher graphical fidelity in 4 K 
I believe. Not, I don't know if it'll be proper 4K like uh, Scorpio though. When I heard it's gonna be proper. Yeah, the Pro Controller seemed better, but from what I seen in the trailer, um, I kind of got a quick glimpse at it, and it actually has like legit triggers now. They're like uh, Xbox triggers, which would make me so happy because the triggers on the Wii U were terrible. Just pretty much any Nintendo console and until now. I also thought it looked kind of weird how like one person was you like like they play like a co-op game like Mario Kart and one person is using when they look kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm just glad that they're getting rid of motion controls. They 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 kind of put that into the ground and kind of ruined it for everybody. Until Vive came out and made it amazing. Well, even GameCube had, like, sort of, like, triggers. Like, they are like, more analog. Like, you could press them in, like, not all the way. Like, they had, like... Uh, you know what I mean. Not not Wii U. <laughs> but the button placement on the GameCube is kind of weird. And the C-Stick was awkward. Otherwise, it's a great controller. Just those are my few gripes with it. I don't know if I see them adding the option to use GameCube controllers, they might. Especially if they come out with a Smash, it almost seems like a rule now. By the way, if you ever get a PS4, don't buy MMOs. They'll take up all your hard drive space. <laughs> the porn of Smash? I don't I don't understand Smash. I really don't. I don't understand why Smash is just such this big thing. To me, I, I every time I've played it, I I thought it was kind of boring. Oh, boring. Gosh, when am I 12? Sting a prepubescent teenager. This will probably also be the only time I ever use having chat on the side because I hate doing it when I play games. I just wanted to have it so that it could be seen on the screen.
You really like your Smash. I don't I don't understand the game. For a competitive game I play Overwatch. I mean, just look at my stats, bruh. Look at all these stats. One million damage done, boy. <laughs> So if if a Smash game came out on the Swift, it's going to be your first buy. It should be on your wish list. Should get a, you should get a PS4 so you can play with me. I know that's probably like a lot of money though. <laughs> I don't think a PS4 or Slim isn't that expensive though. Yeah, I, I play Overwatch a little bit. If if Skyrim's a launch title for it, I'll probably get that. This because of kind of my bias for the Elder Scrolls. But if there's an option where it come comes bundled with the game, I'll get that too. I don't have a good enough PC to play Overwatch. Hopefully, by November, I fix that. That I can have a decent enough PC. Then I definitely will. I still don't know about playing, like, the MOBAs. I've, I don't fully understand those yet. I've tried playing one called Smite, and I kind of like that. But it's a lot different than, uh, like, uh, League and Heroes of the Storm. I've earned 570 medals in Overwatch. Recon assist, assist, what the heck are that? Huh? What's a different mindset? I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even realize I was equal on my loss win ratio on competitive. It's better than me losing more games than one. I am good. Well, I'm not. I'm decent. I don't know what these zeros are for. Like, offensive assists, melee... F oh, no, it's actually got a one. Defensive assists. See, I don't get assists. I get kills. That's how good I am. Oh, MOBAs? Yeah, it, they're, they're just a lot slower, and I don't quite understand at all. Like, having to get all these powers and stuff... It, it was all kind of weird to me when I when I tried it at your house and then I tried it again on Smite. It was a bit overwhelming. And I think MOBAs is something I might I'd maybe rather play with a controller. So I feel like I'm more control over my character than just kind of clicking around hoping for the best.
I'm actually hoping Overwatch will come out for the sw- uh, gosh dang the Switch, and I'll buy that too. Gotta have me Overwatch everywhere I go. I'm sure it's accurate, it's just I, I don't know, I feel like that type of game would be more fun. I, oh, and also, I'm pretty sure the Switch could play Overwatch, I mean, it's not that graphically intensive of a game, I'm sure it would be able to handle it, that's just if Blizzard wants to, and I'm hoping they do. Cause that'd be that'd be another game I'd buy as soon as it comes out, and that way I can just kind of like lay in bed and play it, <laughs> you know, just detach it from the dock, just kind of lay in bed and play Overwatch, get some practice in before I play the the big game on PlayStation. <laughs> But I have a, I have a feeling that this is going to be a better mobile console than a home console. That's just how I feel. By the way, did you see the new Red Dead Redemption trailer? I'm poor too. I hope I hope it is good in both ways. It's just I have a suspicion that it's going to be used more as a portable console than a home console. That's just a feeling I have. Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. I'm also hoping battery life is good too. That's important because if it's anything like the Wii U's current gamepad battery life, it's going to suck. Red Dead is pretty good. If you like Western movies, it's pretty much that, except you're playing it. It's pretty sweet. And the trailer is gorgeous. It doesn't show anything at all, really. Like, you don't get to see what the characters are. Or even really, you can't, don't even really know what the setting is, except, I mean, like, where it takes place, except that it's a Western. It's, it's gorgeous, and I'll probably get it. Yeah, that the battery life could be the one thing that breaks it. Because if it's not good, a lot of people will just get fed up with it and just go back to playing a 3DS or something. Even then, the 3DS's battery life isn't great. The screen's probably getting boring. Back to this one. (laughs) 
It, from what I heard, it's using a NVIDIA Tegra chip, which is it's a chip made for mobile devices. <laughs> I don't know if I can change it to be one of the other characters. If I can get Mercy up there, I'd be happy. Let me, let me see if I can just go into to do this. Get it back. Yes. No, 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 no. I don't want to play a game. Oh, crap. And there is one of the... um. From the NVIDIA Tegra that is as as powerful, I think, as a um, PS4. Or at least near the same power as it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> How hard you get demoted. You pretty much play all the Blizzard games except Overwatch, and I play none of the Blizzard game except Overwatch. I want to get Diablo 3 though, I think that looks fun. And I would like to try World of Warcraft at one point, it's just... Eh. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> yeah, that's the main reason why I didn't want to get World of Warcraft, because with the, like, the free version, you only get to level 20, and I'm sure I could get past that pretty fast. And I don't really want to pay monthly for it, especially with the little amount of money we'll be getting. That's... They're not a fat gay couple. It's it's supposed to be Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. It, it's Junkrat and Roadhog. They're buddies. I was trying to get this person on the screen so we could both be happy. Oh my gosh, it's probably loud. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never even played StarCraft 2. I've never played StarCraft at all. Alright. Well, thanks for coming out. And Yeah. I kind of, kind of wanted to discuss it with somebody. And someone that actually n knew about Nintendo stuff. Because none of my friends do. Except you. And I pay attention to all of the stuff. I don't just stick to PlayStation. <laughs> You're a provoking Nightbot, dude. I'm gonna ban you.
time even is it? 12 gosh dang. 12.30. Well, I don't know if he's here anymore or not. Okay, he is. Okay, see you later. Until he leaves. Have you left? Going to assume he has. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I will give my final opinion here soon. I think he might be gone. Oh, that's loud. I don't want that. I do not want that. Well, yeah, anyways. I'm ex oh, that's probably just scratched all over the microphone. I'm excited for the Switch. I keep on wanting to call it Switch for some reason. I don't know why. I will maybe get it depending on price and what there is at launch. That also makes a huge difference. There, If Skyrim's at launch, there's a high possibility I might get that and play it for another 100 hours, if not longer, because I can do that easily. Even if Fallout 4 comes out for it, which it might. It's not being advertised right now, but I don't see why it wouldn't. But I think it's neat. I think it, I'm not 100% sure on my opinion on it yet because, like I said earlier, I don't know if it'll be a great home console or at least one you play on the big screen TV. That's kind of my main worry about it at the moment and also on how comfortable these little detachable controllers are going to be, especially when you do co-op with them. That looks a little awkward. And also, like, how easy are these things going to be to lose, and how expensive are they going to be? Are all very valid questions, I think. But, yeah, I think it's going to... It's going to be neat. It's going to be a neat little system, hopefully. I'm hoping for 300 $350 max on the price of the console. That seems reasonable to me. And it would sell a lot more, I think, if it was that price. Because from what I remember, the Wii U was kind of expensive at launch. And that was another thing that kind of ruined its sales. And why it hasn't sold shit at all since launch, really. I would like to see more soon. Because what they released today was kind of insignificant. It really wasn't much. They just kind of like, yeah, this, we, were, we were working on this. We should have announced the City 3, but we're stupid. We only talked about Pokemon and Breath of the Wild for two hours. And that was it. It wasn't a real show. It was a waste of time. Um, I'm hoping it's good, and I'm hoping it's cheap. I, I, I want to see Nintendo do well with this console. Because it... It is possible if it, this fails, it could be the last Nintendo console, or home console anyways. They're really successful in their mobile market with the DS and 3DS and stuff. 
And also, the gimmicks on the Switch are actually something that seem better than the gimmicks that were on the Wii and the Wii U. Like, the Wii's motion controls, they were, they were neat at first, and then they kind of got old when you tried to play actual games. Like, shooters and stuff, they uh, were not exactly what would be fun. And the gamepad was neat, too, but it was never really fully supported. So, I don't know. I'm hoping that the this gimmick that Nintendo has this time actually... Uh, long standing and they don't get so much shovelware crap on this console and it wasn't nearly as bad on the Wii as it was on the Wii but let's hope that they still get some pretty solid titles with exclusives and third party and I hope that the third party support is strong throughout the entire lifespan I'm also curious in how much data that these the new game cards can hold it's interesting going back the uh, main generation console is going to be going back to cartridge base which we knew was coming from all the rumors but it's neat I think so let's hope they don't screw it up uh, also a little bit more on Red Dead 2 I might be pre-ordering that but uh, I know pre-orders are open for it now I think from what was said in the trailer but I probably won't pre-order it until it gets closer to release uh, just because I need to actually play through all of the first one. That's something I still haven't done. I doubt I'll do anything on YouTube if I just do it on my own time. But, yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the Switch. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that name either on the new Nintendo console, but it it might grow on me. I don't know. I think the Wii was a bit more, uh, it, w it was a better name in some ways, although the Wii U was stupid. I don't know. I don't even know why they did U. I don't know why they picked U. It was kind of retarded. Anyways, yeah, I think I'll probably end that here. I'll maybe stream again today, maybe, maybe not. If I do, it'll probably be Doom, because Elder Scrolls Online had an update, and that's probably going to take forever. <laughs> I know there's been updates for Doom, but I don't really care about those because they're mostly multiplayer. And I hope, I'm assuming you can still stream without it. I'll find that out. I'll start the uh, Let's Play on Doom, play from the first level. I haven't beat that game yet, and uh, I'll try to do it on stream. Anyways, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Colt for doing this in chat since he's the only one that knows about stuff about Nintendo. I know stuff about Nintendo too, but he's kind of grew up with it while m most of my youth with, with Nintendo was just with Game Boy Advance. And I didn't really get any of the main Nintendo titles. I got a lot of crap titles that I really enjoyed for some reason. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you watch this on YouTube, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya.